Hello and welcome to the demo of Nakiva Backup and Replication. Today we will learn what's new in our product. We will focus on the new features, which include backup copy jobs, offering the secondary copy of your backup on site, off site, or to the cloud, the new web interface, which is cleaner and easier to use, it has more live data indication and in place actions, VMs and templates view allowing you to select and protect VMware VM folders, native NFS support, offering you direct and native connection to NFS share, and internationalization, allowing you to customize date and time format and first day of the week and such things as default time zone. Backup copy jobs allow you to copy backups from repository A to repository B with Nakiva backup and replication. You can edit retention policy, so your retention policy for repository B will be different from that at repository A. Your backup copy job may run at a different schedule. New web interface was made cleaner and easier to use than before. It shows you some data on the speed history and live speed indication, as well as transfer data statistics. VMs and templates view allow you to protect VMware VM folder with VMs, and all new VMs which appear under this folder will be protected automatically. Native NFS support allows to connect to an NFS share and create a backup repository without manually mounting it to Nakiva backup and replication. Internationalization includes clock type customization, date format customization, custom first day of the week, default time zone and decimal sign. Let's start with the demonstration. This is the web interface of Nakiva Backup and Replication. It's much cleaner than it was before and it allows you to see a lot of data on demand as well as edit some data in place. For example, you can edit job schedule, set it to run every 45 minutes and save this job. You can also edit recovery points retention, for example. It also provides you a lot of statistics on the job speed and transfer data. For example, here you can see the job speed for this job run. Let's create a backup repository on an NFS share. We go to the repository tab of the configuration and click Add Backup Repository, Create New Repository. I choose Remote NFS Share here and paste the address of this share. The repository is created, as you can see it has 400 GB of free space. And now we can create a backup copy job, which will copy the backups to this new backup repository. It can be based on jobs and groups or backup repositories. I will just use whatever is inside my local drive backup repository and copy everything to the NFS QNAP repository. The copy will run every day at midnight. I will run this job and while it is running, I will show you the VMs and templates view. When creating a backup job, you can switch between hosts and clusters and VMs and templates view, allowing you to see the VMs and templates view of vSphere infrastructure. For example, you can backup the entire host or you can backup a VM folder. For the matter of this demo, I will just select a couple of VMs. The job creation is pretty easy, can be completed in four steps, and the job is created. As you can see, the backup copy job is running pretty fast, it's running at 46 to 50 megabytes per second. The backups are copied in compressed and deduplicated form, so you don't have to worry about big amount of data transferred over network. This is it for the demonstration. And let's look at what we have learned. We have learned that new features include backup copy jobs, allowing to copy your backups to a secondary location, new web interface, VMs and templates view, native NFS support and internationalization. Thank you for your time and try it yourself at nakiva.com.